And so, and so, Brother Sterling, Harold Sterling is now trying to say that um, he had sex on his mind. He wanted to have sex with this lady, and that is what really causes rant. Now, um, I guess this is the straw that's breaking the camel back, and he's really fighting vigorously. But from the other racial um, experiences he has demonstrated and behaviors demonstrated, this one, even though it be a different, uh, isn't changing the picture that he might be a racist. Now, he's saying that... Um, uh, and he's alleged that he said in some video that you could bring home them boys, you could do whatever, you could screw them here, you could do whatever. I don't care, but it's just a public thing that basically is a problem. And um, I'm not sure when that video was made or if it's in the same one that, you know, he was talking about bringing home, uh, being seen with an Instagram or whatever these black guys, and especially um, um, Magic Johnson and so on. Because at his age, uh, except he's going to try Viagra or Cialis, I'm not sure if he has this big sex n need and, and sex thirst that he's trying to portray here. No, having a young girl uh, of a third one or, or whatever, um, that's a tall order. When she's going through them ovulation and them horny kind of times, man, she need a really, she need a, a bull to really be running up the road with and, and so on, whore, gore and all that stuff. And, um, you know, as I said, maybe she's not, she, maybe she, she wants to be with him only and so on, but hey, subconsciously, you know, when them times come on her when she feel like screwing all day and rolling up all day, uh, all she could think of subconsciously without, you know, saying, bring it to my mind, you know, I'm going to go out and do this, some young athlete that she think could, could run the distance or that she kind of trying to catch up or something like that. Um, so I'm not sure how this, that he had sex on his mind. And then also, uh, I also understand he has uh, prostate cancer. Now, I'm not sure if one has prostate cancer and, 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 and the prostate is being affected so much and the nerves being pressed and so forth, where the erection or where the sex and all that is going to be on somebody's mind. And um, withstanding all that, why would he want to have a young girl? Well, it's of course maybe it's ego and it's showing folks that he's still virile and you know he got his libido and he's a big sexy man or whatever, but in real terms, uh, he's done with that. Um, uh, you know, so... As I said, um, he also could have been reacting subconsciously to the matter in that he's saying that you could bring them home and screw. I mean, I don't see which man is going to, you know, be able to, well, I, I've heard of people paying men to go and have sex with a wife because they can't function and all that stuff. But I think that that thing sometimes gets dangerous. I recall a guy was trying to hook me up with his wife and um, what happened to him, he was just fast. When she wanted to deliver babies, he wanted to be in the uh, in the room there to see what's going on, and and he saw her going through some throws and some other things like that that broke his heart. Many guys that go into the delivery room with the wives always get the heart broken, and and many of them try to avoid what would take her back there, and that is a good sex when she's horny and, and seeing her ovulation. And what's happening is that um, they really want to go back because when she was growing up, she thought I want to have six kids, but he just went in for the first and he said oh, I don't want no more. Well, you know, that's problems because he's upsetting something that she really had in mind. And maybe she had discussed with him, I want to have six kids. And he might have said, oh, no problem. Uh, but really and truly, he's going to hurt himself now and create a disability. And so, um, I felt that, and I heard this guy saying that he knows this is going to end. Because if he hooked me up with his wife and we start doing stuff, then, you know, you, it, it is intimate. You, you get close. And then sometimes, you know, get jealous too. And, and you want the woman for yourself and you know all this kind of stuff so he figured that he must see and shoot himself and shoot whoever is with his wife and himself now i don't know if he did go ahead and shoot somebody or whether he got somebody to you know um work out with his wife or whatever but i figured that i don't want to be a part of that all right and so um for him to saying that he basically was um serious about you know someone coming home she don't mind them coming home and having sex uh, you know, a big millionaire, big mouth, big ego and all that stuff. I'm not thinking that. I don't believe that. I don't think so. I think he's just trying to cover his tracks, as it were. Um, so, uh, basically, um, I think he's just coming back now to, you know, placate and, and, and pontificate and make it appear as if he wasn't basically, um, you know, um, what it seems to be. Um, and so, I, I don't I don't buy that stuff. Um I don't think that basically, uh, you know, he's really serious, and um, it's unfortunate that basically, 
you know, he got himself caught up in, in something like that because it's 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 brutal. Um, and so uh, maybe um, you know he, he kind of deserved what is going down. Um, he should have known carefully that uh, you don't be taped anyway. You know, you just can't say stuff. Um, you know, and I'm not sure why he taped it anyway. But you know, coming back to say he had sex in his mind and he's not a racist. Um, I don't think that was his overt um, sort of position. I think subconsciously he felt threatened that he can lose his little mama to them young boys and all that stuff. And uh, he might have reacted from that. And as I'm saying that, it's not necessarily that he might have been racist, racist per se. He might have just, um, you know, um, white folks afraid black folks with the, with the females, you know. And uh, people are saying that if it were white, he might not have had a problem with that. And it was some image thing and all that. They're just trying to complicate matter and make it, um, you know, sound different. But I really think that um, he was jealous, um, you know. And, and 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 when you're jealous, and as an attorney, as a big billionaire, and as a big sportsman who has, you know, know the bylaws and, and rules of the NBA, can be racist and so forth. That should have even helped him to, you know, um, be political correct. Um, you know, don't say stuff like that. Um, but he could have said you don't want her with call names as opposed to you know being there you know saying you know stuff like that and um i don't want to see you with Matt johnson i don't want to see you with this one and that one and so on because um i really really love you and i really don't want to let you go and all that kind of stuff but then again it's hard for you to um want to take a young girl and and and, and you know be that kind of possessive it's tough i hope i don't have to deal with that kind of stuff um you know, if I were in his case, you know, I'm just have a little friend out there. Um, I'm not controlling life. I'm not it. We hook up, whatever, and you know, you go your way and stuff like that. But to say like this is mine and you want to own it, you you have some problems right there because you can't own that lady. Uh, she 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 got her own little rules how to be owned, uh, and uh, and part of it is to. You know, be doing like them lying all day, lying around and doing all kind of stuff four or five times, wasting someone here and throwing someone on her chest. You know, all that kind of stuff that them girls are going with. 